what is the true standing of Islamic banking? This is a critical question, in fact. Uh, it's really to, to, to ask ourselves, is there really an Islamic alternative or an Islamic economy which is a response to, or in Islamic finance, which is a response to the economic order and the global economic system today? And as it was said, we have Muslims and economists saying, yes, we have an Islamic alternative, and others saying, no, this is within the global system, something which has techniques that are used in order to Islamize uh, the capitalist uh, uh, system from within, but not coming with a true Islamic alternative. So here we are uh, <clears throat> discussing this in the middle of this crisis and, and really have to ask ourselves uh, what Islam and Muslims could uh, can provide uh, uh, um, as an alternative to the global system today. So to answer these questions, I'm joined by David Musa Pitcock, a monetary reformer. Thank you for being with us uh, uh, today. Thank and you. as it was said, it's it's really the, the, the first question is, do we have, uh, uh, according to you, an Islamic alternative system, or do we have today uh, <clears throat> tools and means and techniques when we say no riba, no interest, no usury, for example, that are helping us to think about a new system? So are we, do we have a system or do we have only rules and techniques that have to be uh, uh, respected as Muslims? I think the question, Salam alaikum anyway, and uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, the question is, is an extremely important one. Uh, for the past 35 years, I've been campaigning on this issue to wake Muslims up to the fact that unless they change the, the present, their behavior, I mean, we're, we're living in a system that is not really conducive to uh, belief, whether it's Christian, Jewish, or Islamic, or, or any belief that is God-given. God uh, we, the, the problem is we, I've just come back from this conference. Now, this is the first global conference on riba, on interest, uh, since probably, well, in the last 1400 years where you've had a global gathering of people. Now, many of the people who partake, uh, partook in this, uh, in this conference were bankers in the conventional sense who'd worked in the, uh, the, the existing RIBA-based uh, uh, fraction reserve banking system, uh, who had actually then migrated into what was termed Islamic banking. <clears throat> from the conversations that, that I've had there, from the actual expressions from the, uh, from the, the speakers, uh, it's true to say, and, and I agree with, that we do not have Islamic banking. We have, uh, and as many of them admitted, it is a, only a brand name. It's a brand for the existing practice uh, in which you actually pay 2% more than you would if you went straight to HSBC. So it is a facade. It is something, tomorrow are we going to sacrifice the khinzir and say that this is an acceptable the sacrifice? Portrait, yeah. <laughs> so uh, halal khinzir is what we have. 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 Uh, Halal Khinzir is what we have.